I am at the State of Ohio Insane Asylum Cemetery. I am at one of three. There's three of them all within a quarter mile of each other. And they're actually back here by the Columbus Police Heliport behind ODOT headquarters. These are all stones in the ground. The other two are actually above ground. What I've noticed here though, is all these stones, the burial death is late 50s, early, or, or the 60s, and the 1900s. And I'm not sure why. If something happened in that time period, was there a fire, or what? Like 67? I mean, and then the ones up here are the 60s, and down there are the late 50s. I just find that odd. I mean, they keep pretty good, keep good care of it. Now, one of the three is really overgrown, but it's been a few years since I've been there. I'll find out when I go back today. But like I said, I find it odd though that they're all like late 50s and then the 60s. I'm not finding any deaths of any other date. 1960. 1960. So I don't know, like if there was a, a fire at that time and a lot of people, a lot of the, a lot of them died or what? What happened? I could not say. Okay, this is the second one. And this one is literally right beside Columbus Police Heliport. This is the second one. Let's look at what some of the dates are on this. 48 years old, 1958, 58. Some of these are pretty worn, you can't see them. Fifty-nine. I think sixty-one it said. Okay, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Sixty one, it looks like. Here's one in nineteen seventy one. Seventy-five, seventy-three. it looks like, 73, okay, so we're getting a few of them here in the 70s, but again, it's like late 50s on, 67, 69, I think the oldest one I saw so far was 1957. 64, 63, 59, Couple more benches way down there. 
but I don't think there's any stones down there. We'll walk down that way. There's a couple benches here. These are all the stones I'm seeing. It's just these right here in this corner. But it's got this big open area. The other one is like, the third one is through them woods over there. Not far. There's some railroad tracks there. And it's just right over on the other side of that. Probably like 50 yards. There may be a way to walk through there. I don't know. I'm just going to go around and see. Yeah, I'm not seeing any other ones out here. I see some cars over there. Now, the third one, like I said, it's been a few years since I've been to the other one, but it was in bad shape. It was all grown over, and they probably don't because these two here are like right here in this area where they can, can take care of them. The other one's sort of like off by itself. Even though it's not far, it's just right over there. But they gotta go all the way around to get to it, so it's probably neglected. Uh, and the stones are more of if I'm remembering correctly, they're more of your typical gravestones you find in a grave, graveyard. Uh, all fallen over and broken. And really neglected. Sad shape. But we'll head over to that one now. Okay, I'm in the third one now. And they have done a lot of work on this. I <laughs> believe that. It was nothing. Last time I was here, this grass was knee high. So it's been cut this year. Oh well, I don't know, since we haven't had much rain, grass hasn't been grown, so it could have been cut last year. Uh, but they actually did some cutting back here. Oh, now we got some old ones here. 1868. Unknown. Unknown. So this one must be the oldest of all three of them because I'm seeing dates back in the 1800s here. Now this person was only 19 years old. 1852, yeah, I've seen some much older ones back here. So this one must be the oldest one of the three. Look at this one right by this tree. Let me just show you, this tree was not here probably. 1845. So probably like 175 years ago, this tree was probably just a little stubble, if it even was here at all. Be that grace right there, 1845. Some more unknown. Unknown. 1844. Yeah, these here now, I'm finding are, are the mid 1800s. These here are even older, I bet. I don't even know. 1867. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see anything I need. Now that looks to me like it says 1989 or something like that, but I don't know if that could be right. Nineteen. These are actually look like they're actually newer than uh, those plaques over there. Because it looks like these are dating 1900s. I'm not able to really tell. The dates on. Let's 
over here and look and see what these look like. Now is this 18 or 19? It's like a 19. 1949. So these are a little newer here too, 1945. Nineteen forty nine. So these are mid nineteen hundreds right here. So we got three different kinds of stones here. We got these, which is apparently these here look like they're around mid nineteen hundreds. Then you got those there, which look like the oldest ones of all, but they look like they're probably like mid nineteen hundreds also. And then you got these plaques over here, which are looks like they're mid 1800s so these are probably some of the first burials right here nineteen fifty two nineteen fifty two Okay, but one I'm still finding odd. Okay, I'll, let's take out the ones from the mid 1800s for a minute. Out of all three of these cemeteries, I'm noticing most of the burials, the deaths, are around 1950 to 1960, out of all three cemeteries. Now, why is that? I had to look this up when I go home, see what happened to this. 1955. I find that strange. With the exception of the 1800s, almost all of these burials in all three of these cemeteries are 1950s, 1960s. Something had to have happened at the insane asylum that caused a rapid death of patience but these are the three cemeteries of the uh, Ohio Insane Asylum um, on West Broad you go back behind ODOT's headquarters there at the top of the hill um, and they're back back in there this one here you gotta come off of it's Valley View the Valley View changes its name like three times as you're going down Valley View, heading towards McKinley, just as you go underneath of Interstate 70, right up here, just as you're going underneath, heading towards McKinley, you'll see a, a drive there on your right side, um, just before you go under the bridge. Um, you can park there or park in that little parking lot down around the corner on McKinley. But that little drive there coming up beside the freeway, that'll take you back here maybe about 100 yards. And that's where you'll find this one. 